What is up everybody? Today we're going to be looking at what actually happened in the month of January of 2024. Now there were a lot of rumors that the amount of listings that were going to skyrocket through the roof and force prices down and potentially cause a market crash um, has not necessarily materialized as people would have thought. Based on what I have seen, mortgage rates, even though we are very sensitive when it comes to mortgage rates currently, um, the shock of these new mortgage rates and payments that people are going to be getting when they receive their renewals is not necessarily going to be the be all and end all for the housing market. We saw that in December where we thought that it would just basically the rails would have fallen off and January was pretty much going to be the precursor of it. That has not materialized. Um, now, I'm not saying that the market cannot continue to decline, but the numbers have held pretty flat for the month of January. What I have seen, uh, especially since the Bank of Canada had announced a hold on their rates, was that many homes, uh, especially homes that are entry-level homes, maybe about sub $1.2 million, I was seeing those actually being sold uh, very quickly and homes that were actually on the market for some time, those now have also been snatched up. So I feel that the market is quite hot on at the entry level. Uh, sure, the higher market is still a struggle and qualifications are definitely still very difficult, but rates are coming down. And so I'm sure that gradually what will happen is as rates come down, people are going to be able to still keep the roofs over their heads or they're able to buy themselves some time to have these rates uh, a little bit more palatable and then perhaps sell uh, later in the year. Without further ado, let's get into the numbers for the GTA and the surrounding cities for you to get a better idea of what is happening. Be sure to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell and share the video with somebody that you uh, know is going through their own real estate journey and could perhaps benefit from some of the details that I provided here. Every month I basically do a monthly update. Use this information to your benefit. Arm yourself with the knowledge so that you are not taken advantage of like even I have been taken advantage of in the past without having enough of an understanding as to what neighborhoods dictate a certain price. For those of you who have not watched any of my previous videos, I go through basically the property types and break down to see whether or not prices have actually affected that particular property type in that city. Just because we took the median price of say the greater Toronto area and saw a decrease or an increase in pricing does not necessarily mean that every single city, every property type has also increased or decreased depending on the market situation. If you would like to get a better idea as to what is happening in your community within your city, definitely book a call via my Calendly link. It is a free consultation. There is no cost to you. It's basically just a discussion that we can have regarding mortgages, real estate. So for the month of January, our numbers are out for all property types. And what we have here now is a median price of $895,000. As you can see here, last month, guys, we were at $905,000. So yes, it's a $10,000 decline. But the worrisome part was to see exactly what was happening with new listings. And it's kind of held up. Uh, which is uh, quite encouraging to see that it's held up its numbers. I actually thought uh, we would have seen a little bit of an uptick, but I think we will end up seeing an uptick uh, in certain cities for sure. Here we have detached homes now. The median price is at 1.230 million and we were at 1.228 million. So basically uh, not much change there. We will see exactly how much of, an effect, well, how much of a factor uh, the listings are going to play uh, on downward pressure on homes. The median price now in, of semi-detached homes is now 995,000. And we have last month's numbers of 937,000. So we've had a steep increase of $57,500 uh, in just semi-detached homes. Freehold towns now at 925,000. Uh, and last month, actually, we were at 904000 so almost a $20,000 price increase just in freehold towns across the GTA again. Condo apartments, we are now at $612,000 for the month of January, 
and last month we were at 615 so basically a decline of three thousand dollars which isn't much but condo markets have been affected in toronto let me know in the comments below what you think happened with the prices of condos uh, in the proper 416 area code now when we look at the toronto area we're looking strictly at 416 proper downtown core i'm not really looking at etobicoke and other areas there uh, we're just looking at that central core to see exactly what has happened to the prices there and here you can see that amongst all property types, the median price now is $760,000. And last month's prices were actually at $822,000. So a price decrease of about $62,000, which is crazy. Toronto market is starting to see uh, prices fall. Now, during the price peaks of February, the Toronto market actually held up very well. So now we're actually seeing the inverse occur and hopefully, this does not trickle on to the rest of the uh, cities around the GTA. Detached homes now, we're at 1.425. Look at this here, last month we were at 1.610. That's down $185,000. Moving on to semi-detached, we are now at 1.240. And last month we were at 1.66 million. A semi-detached has actually increased $174,000. So let's see now exactly what has happened in the freehold town market. We're now at 1.103. And last month we were at 1.480. That was a steep decline of a 372,000. Now we've got Toronto condos and Toronto condos here. This is the one that I was thinking about and it's actually at $660,000. Last month we were at 685, a decrease of 25,000. Uh, interesting enough, it's 1,394 new listings this month. There is some stability and there's not this glut of inventory that's coming onto the market uh, to potentially affect home prices. Now let's just quickly take a look at what has happened in York region where I look at new market, the township of King, and Vaughan, Ontario. Again, just because there was a price decline in a certain property segment for the median price of say the whole of the GTA does not necessarily mean that all prices have declined. So when you're sitting with a real estate professional and they're trying to tell you that this is really where the market price is, you really need to understand where the prices have gone. And because prices are being affected so drastically right now, you really need to make sure that your agent has a good pulse on what is happening with the pricing in your particular neighborhood. So in New Market Ontario, we're gonna be looking at which the predominant property types, and that's basically, as you can see here, it's a detached, uh, followed by uh, townhomes and semi-detached. So we're gonna look here at all the property types. We're now at a million 26. Last month, we were actually at $992,000. That's an increase of $34,000 amongst all property types. Now, let's just detached home prices are now uh, at a median price of 1.290. Last month, we were actually at 1.350, so a $60,000 decline in the detached market segment. If you look here at the semi-detached market, we're actually at $987,000. Last month, we were actually at 857,000. There were only eight new listings, so it's a very small quantity of transactions that have occurred within the semi-detached market. Let's take a look here at Freehold Towns. We've got $947,000, and last month, we were actually at $885,000, so a very sharp increase again. Not so many listings. Uh, for townhomes. We've had an increase of about $62,500 over there. Now moving on to King, Ontario. If you look at the distribution type of King, you're going to see that it's basically detached market, pretty much the most dominant uh, within that segment. So we'll just focus on that. And here you'll see that the detached market is now at 1.895. Last month, we were actually at 2.179, 32 new listings. One thing about King, Ontario, you've got sprawling acreages, you've got, you know, homes that range from, say, 3,000 square feet, and then you've got mansions that are, you know, 15,000 square feet. So it's a little bit harder, and that's why you're seeing a little bit of that price disparity there, because there are... There were some homes um, that were multi-million dollars that were sold. And then you've also got 
the homes that are a little bit smaller. There are some uh, high density homes uh, in the township of King. And if those are moving also, um, it's trying to get the right median price. So it's a little bit difficult again. And this is where you need to make sure your real estate professional is got a good pulse on price points in your neighborhood to ensure that you're listing your home or even purchasing a home at the right market price. I hope you found this video of value. You're able to sort of take a look at those numbers and see where they are compared to what either you are looking for or where you currently live and want to know roughly what has happened to the housing sector within your area. We will catch you on the next one.